All right, let's address it. The white elephant in the room. Let's just do it. Come on, let's just get it over with. Let me turn this camera around so I can show you. All right. Here's the reality. I'm 38 years old. Um, I was an athlete my entire life, wore a baseball hat my entire life. And uh, my mom's side of the family is going bald. So, I am now faced with this reality of gray hair and balding all in the same time frame. It's tough, let me just tell you, because I used to have at least a decent head of hair where I could go out in public, not actually have to brush my hair, do something like that. But this is a bit of a nightmare. Um, now I look like um, a crazy, 90 year old man that has gray hair and balding so i do my best to just brush it down there's not much i can do to it and when i get the side shaved it looks even shorter because of the gray hair so but i can't stand when my hair starts growing out it's really annoying so today after looking at myself for a good four hours yesterday i think i'm gonna have to get a haircut today just part of the deal and uh if you see me with some bad hair just accept it because if i shave it it looks 10 times worse Gotta get rid of this. So here's the other reality. As you get older, you start appreciating looking like a gym teacher. No matter where I go anymore, it's nylons, a Nike jacket, and Nike shoes. I almost forgot how to wear jeans anymore. This COVID has really broken up the norms, that's for sure. It's actually kind of nice, because I had never really enjoyed getting dressed up. But today, Let's just run through today real quick. Gotta go get the oil changed. Gotta go to the gym. Gotta get some lunch. And then I gotta come back here and uh, show you guys a couple things in the house that I've been uh, doing for my fishing side of my life. Stay tuned. Hopefully today keeps us busy. See you, Cash. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go uh, change the oil. And uh, you just lay there. Just stay. Everything's good. Just stay, bud. Well, something weird's going on today that I'm really surprised about. I don't know if you guys can see out there or not, but the sun is shining. Even though it's a whopping 27 degrees, it's still nice to see the sun. On our way to get the oil changed, um, have... Every time I go here, it takes me like two hours because I'm going to the dealership because I have a newer truck and Ford's still paying for these so I'm going to take advantage of that um, but they're going to do a tire rotation oil change put all the fluids in kind of the works and uh, hopefully uh, the truck runs smooth after last time it seemed like it did hopefully we have no issues either anyway and then after that we're going to go grab some lunch because I'm starving Come on, let's go. Up, oh, stay up. Oh, always getting down our dog. Oh, dang it. Ready, let's go time. All right, all right, 
uh, just got back from the gym. It's uh, freezing cold outside. Cincinnati is just, as I said yesterday, just awful. I think today felt like I literally went outside, let the dog out, and my hands felt like they were frozen. I had to come in and throw some hot water on them, and then they started to hurt. That was a first. So it's really cold today. I think it's probably in the low 20s, or at least the wind chill is making it feel that way. But let's get into today's video. I wanted to talk about my rod storage. Um, Cash, you're gonna stay in here, bud. <clears throat> so something about what I like to do when I'm making DIY projects is to make it affordable uh, and efficient. So what I did was, uh, I went to Amazon, looked and see, saw how many rod holders there are and kind of took ideas from different designs. Most of them were net 30 to $60 and I really didn't want to spend that much. So what I did was I got a standard two by four, right? And then I bought these little hooks, which all together, this whole thing cost me $10 versus 30, which it would have cost on Amazon. It's outrageous. Um, I just can't even believe that they charge that much for something like this. One problem I had is to see I have concrete down there. I was afraid I'd be drilling into concrete up here, but I'm not. So it's actually, I found some joists that were sitting behind the drywall, uh, which secured this on there. Uh, I do rent, so anything that I do put up, I have to take down. And this is very mobile. I can just unscrew this from the wall, pull it off, and take it with me wherever I go to the next place. Uh, again, just like every bass fisherman, I have way too much tackle. Also, this was a convenient thing to put my fly rod and then my bow as well. Um, granted, that didn't get much use last year. It was uh, a little... Hunting's just a whole nother story. Anyway, uh, that is my rod holder. If you guys got any tips or ideas on how to make it better. I don't have anything holding the bottom down here, as you guys can see. And the reason being is, is that that concrete's there and I didn't really want to screw into the concrete. Um, but this works. I mean, even if the wind blows, the hooks catch them. Um, it's pretty, pretty good little solid little idea. Uh, I'm going to get on with the rest of the day. Going to grab some lunch. Going to, well, not lunch. I already ate lunch. Maybe a late afternoon snack. And then I'm going to check some emails, do some work. Uh, and that's it for right now. If anything else interesting, I will put it on here. I promise. I am freaking exhausted. Today just kicked my butt. Uh, being so cold, I think it just just killed me. But I got a lot accomplished. Finished the laundry. Uh, got my hair cut. All seven of them. And then um, got the oil changed. Got the workout in. Ate pretty decent. And then I topped my night off with a... Um, uh, Chick-fil-A milkshake though so bad anyway stay tuned for tomorrow should be another kind of boring episode of my life but hopefully they get better uh, once the weather breaks I promise you there will be some entertaining times see you tomorrow